I know why he did it for me. I obeyed. I trust in God. And that's all he required me to do. I am one of God's servants. He's going to get me out of this chair and I'll continue to be his servant. Yeah. This is my church home right here. Twenty some years. This is my home. When I walked through that door back there, I made it home again. Yeah. This is my home. Hallelujah. This is my home right here. This is where I got obeyed. This is where I got sick and tired of being out in the streets. Came in here. I came in here and obeyed. And I went down in the water. I got up. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what was wrong with me. God took over. I tried so hard. I done been up that hill and down that hill. I went down that hill. I said, Lord, I know you're going to throw me in the fry pad. But Miss Sally told me, never will forget, that Diane, you're not perfect. Stand up. He's not going to throw you in no fry patch. Amen. I got up. I repented. <coughs> Here I am again. <coughs> and that's all he want me to do is obey <coughs> and do what he asked me to do. I have brought my grandchildren here. I have brought my great grands here. Working on them. And I can go only so far. But I can tell you this. If you're in my home on a Sunday morning, you're out of there. I got these grandchildren, granddaughters over here. They don't like spending nights on Saturday night because they know on Sunday morning they got to go. They got to go. But they don't got well on Saturday night, they won't come to the house. I said, that's okay. That's all right. I, I'm trying to teach you and show you what God is showing me right now. Right now, Lord, God has been good to me. Hallelujah. You sisters and you brothers, y'all been good to me. Hallelujah. I had a lot of prayers go up for me. People that I didn't even know. I got cards. Cards come in every day. Every day, somebody sending me a card. I don't know who this is. That's all right. They're a child of God. I sit and read them. When I feel like I'm lonely and can't take it no more, I'm still having ups and downs. I go to that dresser and I get some cards and I start reading them. I'm asking you all to keep me in prayer. Keep the phone calls coming. I have therapists every every other day. I, I I have a womb doctor, nurse that comes out there twice a week. Uh, I have wounds that I can't hardly sit down on and I won't be able to stay with you all very long. But God is taking care of that and I'm getting better where I can sit down. Mm -hmm. I thank God for each and every one of y'all. I thank God for you. Any and everything that y'all have done for me. Everything. I had a wonderful pastor. When I was out there in that hospital, I could hear, but I couldn't see. I got kind of rowdy at times or two. I didn't want nobody there. I want to go home. I stayed in there a whole month and, and one week. I was going to go home. Brother Alfred said, you can't go. You got to stay here. I want to go home. I got so around it, they tied my arms down, my feet. I want to go home. The young lady from North Atlanta, my Bible study class, she came to see me. I said, Yolanda, untie me where I can go home. She said, Miss Diane, I love you, but I can't untie you and let you go home. They're saying about you. Brother Alfred walked through the door. I said, Alfred, I'm ready to go home now. He said, listen, listen to me now. I don't want to hear it. I want to go home. God has brought me through here, and I want to go home. But I'm home now, and I thank God. 
I'm so thankful, Lord. Y'all just don't know how thankful I am to be here. Wonderful. When I came through that door, I'm home again. I am home again. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Each and every one of you. You know, I work for the Lord. All of my help. I never popped my collar, not one time. Not one time. They say, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. It was God leading me. I've been sick a long time and didn't even know it. Suffering with my blood pressure, didn't even know it. But I tell you one thing. It's time to obey. Get it right. If you don't know him, you better get it right. Get it right right now. You hadn't been out in that water. And obey him. I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry for you. It's time. I'm talking especially to my grandchildren. Get it right. It's never too late. Get up and do something good before I leave you. <coughs> I like to see. And I'm going to get ready to go. But I love y'all. And y'all keep on. I am a real sister in Christ. I am a real sister in Christ. Brother Africa, you better come get this. <laughs>